So now let us talk about a very important condition, schizophrenia, which is um, uh, one of the favorite topics of the examiner doctor. Psychotic disorder means synonymous with schizophrenia. So what are the good signs, bad signs, types of schizophrenia? So these are all the things we have to be sure about. Schizophrenia is a common and devastating psychiatric illness where there is a psychosis, disintegration of the abilities to think logically and inability to maintain the social behavior in a socially acceptable form. So these are all the essential components of uh, the schizophrenia where the problem is with the thought content of it and the problem is with the perception. So that's what I like to underscore to all of you. So generally, in the layman's term, this fellow is mad, is equal to the psychiatrist term, this patient is uh, schizophrenic. So it was originally Kraplin, is the one in the late 19th century who has um, labeled it as a dementia precox, is the name which was given for the schizophrenia. Talking about schizophrenia without mentioning about Bleuler, would be one of the historical mistake doctor. So Bleuler was an eminent personality who introduced the term schizophrenia at the turn of the century is what need to be understood. Now some of the symptoms are called positive symptoms, some are called negative symptoms in schizophrenia. Hallucinations and delusions are positive. The blunting of the affect, evolution, inability to execute, elogia, losing the logical way of deduction of the conclusions, and the social withdrawal, they are all considered to be the deficit symptoms, otherwise called uh, the negative symptoms. Some of the symptoms are called disorganized in the schizophrenia. There is an illogical and incoherent speech and aimless or a peculiar motor behavior. There are examples of uh, disorganized symptoms. Some of them are associated with the learning and cognition. So cognitive symptoms of schizophrenia, what are they, doctor? Impaired attention, impaired ability to plan, organize and sequence the activity and the impaired memory, they are all the cognitive symptoms of schizophrenia. Sometimes schizophrenia can be associated with the mood liability, substance abuse and insomnia is what I want to underscore to all of you. Now, what are the psychopathological changes that you see in a patient of schizophrenia? Number one, the problems with the content and the form of the thought that he has got. The individual's thought will be about the bizarre subjects. It will be in a illogical manner he will be thinking. So content and form of the thought are primarily disturbed in a patient who has got uh, schizophrenia. One of the favorite questions of the examiner. Schizophrenia is a problem with what? It is not with the mood. It is not with anything else. It is with the content of the thought is what you have to basically understand. Similarly, perception. The individual's affect may be inappropriate to that given context. When the news of death had been given, he starts to laugh. When the news of birth is given, he starts to cry. So it is inappropriate. And similarly, it can become blunted. Similarly, affect will be very much affected. And the sense of the self is uh, generally, there is an identity confusion in the individual who has got uh, the schizophrenia. And there's an extreme lack of uh, the initiative and the volition is a major problem in the case of the schizophrenia and the relationship with the external world that is he has got a very difficulty in adapting to a um, demanding environment uh, uh, is one of the important clinical presentation and uh, a repetitive, aimless, inappropriate psychopathic activity constitutes uh, the major psychopathology of the schizophrenia is what I want to underscore to all of you.